back with a brand new video. Um, this is actually going to be my first ever movie review yet. Um, me and my mate Chris are going to watch the uh, Evil Dead at my local cinema. Um, pretty much looking forward to it. I enjoyed I, I enjoyed the Evil Dead series as a whole, and um, I've been actually pumped up to, to actually see and, and watch this film. I can't wait. So we're going to have a quick beer, and then we're going to go in. I'll, what I'll do, I'll quickly show you like a picture or like a zoom in of my local cinema and we'll see how it goes and then I'll be back later on tonight to give you my thoughts about the whole film in general. So I'll see you all, in, see you all then guys, thank you. Hi guys, Rusty Boy 1985 um, yeah, just thought I'd show you uh, this Festival Leisure Park we call it. Uh, got the holiday in there, very boring, I haven't been in there before. Got Pizza Hut. It's very nice, I love a pizza. Uh, Toby Carvery there. And uh, we're just coming up to uh, the cinema very soon. And uh, Hollywood Bowl, if you can see. Oh, if I can zoom in. See there, Hollywood Bowl, that's where we're gonna get a pint. Because I am thirsty. What about you, Chris? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll just quickly show you the a brief little capture of Empire because if they see me with this, obviously I won't be allowed in and then we'll be fucked. So, just bear with me. There's the local club as well, that's called Liquid and MV. Uh, it's okay. I normally get, go in there to get pissed. <laughs> and if you see there in the background, Empire Cinema. It's got 12th screen. It's all right. Uh, we're in luxury tonight, aren't we? Indeed. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and Nando's there as well. So, but yeah, there it is, guys. My local Empire Cinema. And again, like I said, I'll see you after the film ends. Bye bye. Hi guys, back again. Uh, me and Chris just went to see the uh, Evil Dead, and general consensus of the film, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was one of the better remakes I have seen. Um, since probably Dawn of the Dead, um, I really did enjoy it. The plot narrowly focuses on five group of friends go to the cabin, uh, cabin in the woods, uh, and the, the main girl Mia, she's trying to get off some uh, a drug. She's got a drug problem. We don't know what it is. It could be heroin. It could be something else. But um, yeah, she. Um, she tr she's going cold turkey with a help of our help with her friends, and um, uh, the, the same night she smells a funny smell in the basement. Um, uh, what I should say the character names is Natalie, the blonde girl, um, Eric, the geeky one, uh, Mia. Obviously, there's the main character. I can't remember for the life of me the brother's name. That's just gone for a second. I might get it back, you never know. But yeah, basically Mia smells something in the basement. Uh, the basement. We go down, we see dead cats, dead rabbits all over the, uh, you know, hanging from the rafters. And they basically find a book. Well, they don't find it. They see uh, something covered in barbed wire. Basically, for some strange reason, uh, Eric, the geeky one of the lot, um, opens the book and obviously we know what it is it's the uh, Necronomicon but they don't actually say that in the film uh, the Book of the Dead and he reads scriptures from from the book and that unleashes uh, de like demons and you know demons and forces and uh, yeah basically it all kicks off from there um, the tree raping scene was um, I, the original, I, I did like the original, but the tree raping scene in this in this film, I thought was brilliant. Uh, I really did enjoy that um, part. Um, now, if you enjoy it over the top gore, there was some jumpy parts. Your normal scary jumpy parts. Um, Chris will know that because he jumped uh, way out of uh, thing. So yes, um, sorry about that. Uh, but what I was saying, Chris was. Jump, he jumps in a few parts. There's the normal scary parts in it, but um, not. It's not very. It's not scary. But if you love your gore, you'd love this film. It is just gore plenty. Arms getting chopped off. Uh, pins in your face. 
face getting cut off, you know, just your normal horror, standard horror. But like I said, if you're a gore hound, you would love this film. Uh, but like I said, I really did enjoy it. I, I really did enjoy it. And obviously there's um, going to be a sequel in the works. I don't know how they're going to work that. But um, you know what? If it's, any, if it's any good than this, then I will go and watch it. So yeah, if you like your gore, go and watch this. It's a very good, uh, I thought it was a very good film. Uh, I will give this um, film a B minus. Um, I don't know what Chris would give. What, you, what would you give it, Chris? A C. He would give it a C. So uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully we can do this uh, many more times. Um, but you know, hopefully you enjoyed this. My first ever movie review. Hope you liked it. I hope I didn't spoil too much for you. So anyway, thanks guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.